Hi guys, welcome back to Resin Bell. Today I'm excited to share with you my newest mold. This is a necklace mold. It has lots of different parts and it's all separated out so you can do it all in one pour. And I will be showing you how to use this and working with it myself. And I'm going to speed it up and you guys can just follow along. It's pretty simple. And this mold will be available in my Etsy shop today. And uh, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in just a moment. Okay guys, I'm going to be working with this new mold. It is a spellbook mold and it has several different options for the front and it has some book corners and lots of details for you to create with. This is very versatile. You could use it um, with clear resin with uh, herbs and flowers in it. You could go that way. Today I'm going to be doing kind of a pastel goth style but you could also do it in blacks or whites or you can you can change the theme of the designs just by changing the colors and what you put in it. So I hope you have fun with this one. This one's going to be available in my Etsy shop this week, um, probably today, and uh, I hope you like it. So stay tuned. I'm going to speed up this, this video and I'm just going to follow along as I create a necklace. <music> It's the next day we're gonna demold this I kind of like how it's looking from the back but you know just we'll see looks like I've got a bunch of bubbles I was not paying attention when I was doing this Okay, second second pour here, guys. Uh, the first one, I wasn't paying attention. I'm sharing this with you because I want everybody to know that, you know, bubbles happen, resin fails. It happens to the best of us. Um, you're not alone in feeling that pain. <laughs> um, but I was trying to get it poured quickly because I had some other things to do. And I wasn't really paying attention. And I forgot to heat up my resin. I usually, for intricate patterns like this, I usually heat my resin with my heat gun just very slowly um, adding a little heat and then taking it off and stirring adding a little heat take it off and stir um, and it makes it a lot really thin and easily pours and that takes care of a bunch of the bubbles but you can see here I had a lot of bubbles but my resin was too thick and I had mixed it uh, mixed a lot of stuff into it, the colorant and the mica powders, um, and that can create a lot of little tiny bubbles that, that turn into a lot of 
bubble, a lot of bigger bubbles. So um, the best way to do that if you're mixing in a lot of stuff is to heat your resin after you've mixed in your things. That'll allow all of those bubbles to come up and pop. And, you know, as you're stirring, when you put the heat gun on, that allows all the bubbles to come to the top and the heat gun will pop all the bubbles that are down in the resin. So, um, yeah, it happens to the best of us. I really like the, the purple and the turquoise pastel with that mica powder. It makes it look like a pastel galaxy to me almost. I think it's going to look really good with this one especially. But yeah, if you end up getting a lot of bubbles like this, it's most likely your resin is too thick and it's able to trap those bubbles in. So I heated my resin till it was nice and thin and then I poured it immediately after that. So this is my second pour and we'll see how that turns out. And I'll see it in just a moment, which for me is tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so this is the second pour. Hopefully the second time's the charm. And we'll just... Uh, unmold this and see how it went ah yes see bubble free it's awesome okay now this one well, that one had a little bubble in it and this one I don't need and I'm going to be using this one it's a little pet Aww. Okay. And then the book corners, I did separately so that you could pour them at the same time. You don't have to pour and then wait and then pour and then wait. So you can do your book corners in a different color if you wanted. You could do them in silver or gold or something, depending on what colors you are using. Um, but the book corners are specific to the correct corners. So they are laid out in the same way. So this corner goes to that. That one goes to that. There, 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 there. So when you flip them over, you got to make sure that you put your book corners on the correct corners. Because they do have just kind of a, you know, just a little a difference enough that um, kind of gives it a little bit more of a whimsical look. It's not a huge difference, but uh, so yes, there we go. This is just an extra little star bead that you can have. You don't have to use it, but you know, just to fill up the mold and give you as many things you as you can use on it. I like to do that when I'm designing a mold. All right, so I'm just gonna put this together and speed it back up and we'll see what it looks like at the end. You can make all kinds of different ones. You can add that to the center or you can add this one to the center. It's a uh, very uh, versatile. You can turn these into earrings if you drill a little hole. Um, you know, you can make a necklace and add a little charm on it. However you want to do it, you could even take that and, you know, add it onto your book somewhere if you wanted to. But uh, a whole lot of different possibilities with that. You can get a lot of different color combinations. You can do um, your book corners and you can do these a different color or, you know, a lot of different ways you can do that. And I hope you guys enjoy this. This uh, mold is available on my Etsy shop at Resin Bell Molds.
So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great week. We'll see you in the next video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bye.